Hi internet friends, after my last bonus tip regarding panel moldings using 3D moldings, uh, I wanted to bring up, I wanted to uh, show you this option of doing a panel molding as a wainscoting. The uh, concept was left as a comment on my, my YouTube video from Eric on Chief Architect saying that uh, making the entire assembly styles, rails, moldings, and panels from a cabinet makes it easy to add or subtract panels and everything automatically rebuilds to keep the panel all the same width. And I hadn't thought of going that far into it. I know Renee Rabbit over at Rabbit Design has done something like this, um, but I, I really haven't followed his technique, so maybe I'm duplicating, maybe I'm not. I'll put a link uh, to both the panel molding, the 3D molding uh, detail up above and in the comments below uh, so you can see how to turn that, how to, how to make that uh, into as 3D molding. And I will also put a link to, I'll try to find Renee's um, video and put a link to that as well. But let's get started right into this. I started off with, as you can see, I've got this cabinet really slick idea um, with multiple let's open this up multiple um, openings that are equalized I've created this panel door that's just the molding um, itself a few tips with that and then added some molding on the top to kind of look like our chair rail there fantastic part about this is that if I want to make this down to 36 inch height they all adjust appropriately. Move it up to 48. Fantastic. I can even adjust, say, the styles and rails. Let's say I wanted four and a half here. And at the bottom, at this uh, bottom panel, I wanted this to go up to seven and a quarter. Everything adjusts the way it should be. Um, really, really nice and slick. Um, situation. Let's copy this around. So I've uh, done that along here. Let's copy it over to this side. And let's go right to the corner. Maybe like so. And for this one I'm going to make sure that's all the way to the edge. Yes. And just so that everything is uh, correct. I'm just going to pull this back uh, three quarters of an inch. And this one side too. So there's that view. Let's, um, let's add one more panel in here. I'm going to go to my front sides back and split vertical again, click on my layout horizontal, and I can equalize just as quick as that. Now I've got that one, this one set up. Uh, so to start off with, I created a profile of a panel molding. I tried to get this off of the internet as best as I could. I, uh, as I mentioned before, this is the molding. Um, 3D molding that I created. Let's open this up and go to moldings. And you'll notice that I had to uncheck extrude inside and I reflected vertical. There's the molding that I took. Um, if, if I do that, it's outside my panel and I really, uh, just for playing around, I just really wanted it inside the line. So when I did it inside, the uh, belly part of, of this mold is now inside on the inside of the uh, 3D molding so I'm going to have to flip it vertical and now it's where it needs to be. From here I got it selected and I added this as a symbol and put it in my um, library. Well I take that back. This I added to my library this 3D, I converted to this 
cabinet door drawer here. And let's open this object. There's the object itself. Let's open the, I'm right clicking on the library object, open the symbol. And you do want to click on your sizing. So I put some stretch planes in the width and some stretch planes in the height. The width uh, is this one here. And the height goes from here to here. That way, this inch and a half uh, top, bottom, left, and right always stays the same. If, it, if we stretch any wider than this, we're just going to stretch between these two points. Stretch any taller than this, we're just going to stretch between these two points here. That is an important piece of this uh, library object. Then, the cabinet. I just applied this door to the cabinet, and I did some things for the construction. I made it an inset construction with zero clearance. Uh, I made the box itself only three quarters of an inch deep. Uh, the countertop I left at inch and a half tall a zero inch overhang. Um, I'm going to uncheck that countertop in the schedule. Uh, toe kick. I took the toe kick off. Uh, you can change this frame construction here uh, so that that adjusts the defaults around these rails, styles, and, and base. Uh, front sides back. You can add more panels by splitting and equalizing this horizontal layout. I also went to the back and checked none on the side type. Left, none. Right, none. Okay. Um, door and drawer. I've got that panel mold uh, cabinet door drawer from my library, custom library. Um, oh, I did change this to a door panel instead of a hinged because um, I don't want that to have uh, hardware nor a hinge um, symbol. I could turn it off uh, if you have a hinge symbol like auto left. Uh, there was a place where I saw you could turn it off, but it's easier if you just do a door panel like that. Um, opening indicators. There we go. We can hide or show the open in opening indicators if you haven't hinged. I added a molding profile uh, that kind of gives that, um, whoops, there we go, gives that uh, chair rail look right there. Let's open that back up. Uh, layer, I left it on cabinet base layer, and I might change that, but uh, I just, uh, we could suppress the label. And there it is. There is our um, there's our wainscoting. Really nice and easy. Don't have to create any solids. Don't have to create any uh, or and copy any panel molds. It's just uh, duplicated, and it chief will figure out the uh, spacing for you. Um, the other great thing now with X did X13 introduce this is that uh, you can specify now the openings if you want to do that right and just drag a dimension right through there let's do a half inch scale there we go uh, now you might have to set this up so that we see the the uh, space in between as well um, but anyway um, you can give the dimensions across there so that it can be built as well um, thanks so much for watching this video click like and subscribe and get more uh, tech tip tuesday videos i try to release those every week on tuesday and uh, occasionally these bonus videos thanks again take care